Hi there everybody, welcome along. My name is Morna Fiskin and today we're just going to do a nice quick wee demonstration looking at how the temperature of water can affect it, uh, essentially the density of the water. So for this we're going to need a few different props, some hot water, some cold water, a couple of pint glasses, some form of stirring implement, red food colouring and blue food colouring. A piece of card or laminate or pl thin plastic, whatever you have. Liquids such as water are what we call fluids and these fluids can move from one place to another. Now, when they're heated up, it can affect their density. So when fluid particles are heated up, they actually become less dense because the distance between these particles increases because they've, they've actually gotten a lot more excited and they've spread out and they've increased the distance between them, therefore increasing their volume. The particle sizes themselves actually don't increase, but it's actually the distance between them. So we're going to have a little look at water density here. So I'm going to fill up one of these glasses with cold water and don't know about you, but when I was growing up, blue meant cold. So I'm going to add some blue food colouring. Next, get your hot water. So don't let your kettle go to the full boil. Kind of just click it off before it starts to boil. Fill up your second glass. Set it to the side. Red means hot. A bit of red food colouring. Lovely. Give it a stir. So we have got cold and we've got hot. First thing that we want to do is we want to put the cold water on top of the hot water and we'll see what happens. So get your piece of card or your laminate, whatever you want. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. It will get messy, so probably want to do it in your kitchen or somewhere that you don't mind getting wet and have towels and things on hand as well. And you probably want to give this a couple of practices. So quick as you can, turn it over. cold water on top of your hot. I'm just going to come down to see this a little bit easier. And you're going to want to take the plastic or the laminate, whatever, out. And what you'll find is that these two have mixed. So you've now got a mixture of the red and the blue. This is because of the density. The cold water, the particles are much heavier. They're a lot denser, which means that they've actually sunk down into the hot water and they've mixed. So we're gonna now see the difference when I put the hot water on top of the cold. <laughs> see where your gloves sometimes are a hindrance, but there we go. Okay, made a bit of a mess for one of the crew to clean up. Gentle as you can. Take that away. Now once it starts to settle, what you should find, there we go, started to settle a wee bit. And what you'll see is that the red water is sitting on top of the blue. So it's kind of like this lovely separation thing going on. And if we left it, for a bit longer, it would start to settle even more. Now this is because the hot water, the particles are a lot less dense than the cold water, so they're a lot more excited. The space between them is kind of extended and it uh, got even more. And it means that their density has decreased. So they're a lot less dense than the cold water particles and allows them to float on top. And if we left that for the next little while, it would stay like that. So that's a very simplistic way of looking at water density and how the temperature can affect it. But have fun yourself, subscribe to Head Squeeze, take some pictures, let us know how you got on. Did you manage to do this successfully? And let us see, scale it up, scale it down, see how small you can make your glasses wherever you go. But have fun with it.